this is a test of the minimum <coughs> systems that we need to make the car drivable. <coughs> First of all, there's um, this uh, board which acts as uh, the equivalent of the BMS. <coughs> it will read the current sensor uh, and control the uh, pre-charge contactors for the battery. This is uh, hijacked from a Nissan Leaf and is running some uh, Nissan Leaf uh, batteries. At the moment, this is running on 200 volts, which is half the, the bus voltage. Then there is the, the equivalent of the vehicle computer. At the moment, this is connected to the um, uh, ignition key switch um, then, and the pedal. Uh, and uh, then there is the uh, gear uh, selector which uh, basically controls uh, whether we're going in drive or reverse or, or neutral and then uh, I've got the uh, this board which controls a, um, the contact us to turn all the power on to all the different systems that would be like your accessories and when you get the ignition to the on position then you will <clears throat> it will put power onto the uh, onto the inverters and whatever other bits and pieces need to run like power steering or um, or the brakes. So um, the screen basically displays um, some uh, signals that I've been using for doing a bit of debugging. So <clears throat> um, the first test the first thing to do is to turn it on. So that basically turns the, um, the accessories on, and this enables, this is the equivalent of the on um, on the car. As you can see now, we've got, um, we've got uh, signals coming back from the, um, uh, from the motors, uh, which I'm actually using for telling when the, um, when the bus is charged, and also the water pump for the motors is running. So the next thing to do is to actually twist the, um, the, the, the ignition key to the start and you'll see the pre-charge so when I turn it on you can hear the click and then uh, pre-charges um, switches the contactors on um, uh, the pre-charge contactor and then it closes the, the main contactor as you can see now there's a lot more current being drawn the power supply is being the <coughs> the, uh, the, 12, the equivalent of the 12 volt battery so um, now we're in park, so if we press the uh, accelerator, obviously nothing happens. Um, oops, out of the way. Um, <clears throat> so now if we put if we put this into say into reverse, then when we press the accelerator, the motors uh, should spin. Um, so then, then we got the motor spinning in one direction. So I'll draw it slowly so you can see which way it spins. So now if we put it into reverse, so this is neutral, so in neutral nothing should happen if we press the accelerator and then in then we we'll put it into re, into drive and now it should actually drive in the opposite direction. Um, now I've already got the um, the one pedal driving. <coughs> um, I've got the one pedal driving um, uh, software installed because for doing testing, I actually do need the one pedal driving because I have no brakes in the car in the test car. Now one of the things that the one pedal driving can do is it allows you to control the braking torque extremely accurately. At this point, there is nothing on the motors other than the, the mass of the motors, so you can actually see how accurately I can control the the the, for, the braking force. So this is accelerating. This is uh, closing to a stop, or I can actually slow down or stop completely. And you can see the uh, the movement on the accelerator pedal. So that's driving. That is. Um, Stopping, uh, sorry, um, um, coasting, and then braking or braking to a stop. And you can see, you can see from the from the sensors um, that uh, all the different um, um, signals like the torque, the accelerator position, and the current from the battery.
Um, um, it does have uh, quite a bit of power. You can, you can see. Um, so uh, hopefully we're going to do a test run on the car tomorrow so we'll install all this into the car and we'll see how it goes.